In this audio setup tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the inputs on GarageBand for the Mac. This is one of the most basic things you'll need to know how to do, so let's get started. You can see that I'm clicked into GarageBand, and near the top of the screen, you'll be able to see that I can see the GarageBand logo. I'm going to go to uh, GarageBand Settings, and you'll see the Settings window that appears. From there, I'm going to click on the Audio MIDI. And here you see that I've got audio output de device and input device. Connected to a soundboard, the input device should be the soundboard in front of you. In this case, it's the Zeti 10. This is what brings sound into the computer as we're recording it. And you'll want to have that soundboard set up. But output is different. Above you, if you're at one of the lab areas, if you look up and there's a speaker above you, you would use external headphones to play to the speaker. This means that there's a cable coming out of the Mac and going up to that speaker. If you wanted to just use the iMac speakers in front of you, for instance, if you're in a lab that doesn't have a setup uh, output, then you can just use the iMac speakers as your output. Output is what we listen back to so that we can determine what our, what our end product would sound like. So when we're setting up our inputs and our outputs, again, the input we want to set before we start recording is our Zeti 10 or whatever that board is that's in front of you. It might be a 12 or an 8. And then our output is what we are listening to when we are done recording so that we can hear our project. <laughs> 